Welcome back friends, this is Salman Jagwe, I'm back with another quick <laughs> insight. Today we're going to be talking about uh, something that I don't know if it that doesn't get a lot of attention and the part that gets attention the most is that uh, animation tools in the studio are still kind of limited. And the closest thing that you get to animation, uh, like really getting like to cap editor and all that, you have to use a tool called Animate 2 this one right here and uh, I believe it's right now it's what almost $60 but this is what opens up the ability for you to animate uh, in DA Studio to be able to handle different levels of animation because it has like you know it opens up the timeline and you get access to more you know features that you don't typically get in you know the light version of uh, animate so and the reason why I'm bringing that up is I wanted to show you something that I was able to do. And this is uh, using Animate 2 to save facial animation that I captured using face motion 3D and then use it on all these different types of characters. As long as the character is uh, Genesis 8 or 8.1, this animation will work. And all of that is made possible because of uh, Animate 2. And hopefully I'll do like a more in-depth tutorial, but today was just more like a highlight that if you have the studio and you want to use, like to do like more animation, more detailed animation, more nuanced animation, is that you consider getting Animate 2, right? And it's not very expensive. At sixty dollars, a one-time fee. It's not a you don't you don't pay every month. You can just pay sixty dollars, and you have a, a like a, a much better animation tool inside of Dial Studio. So let me show you what I, I was able to do. So I captured this uh, with a G8 facial animation. Now I have this scene set up whereby I have the, let me see, we, we'll start with the, the chimpanzee, which is very interesting. So if I zoom into the chimpanzee right now, and this clip right here, I was able to save it as an animation block, uh, right? So what I did was I captured the animation here, and then went to animate two, right? And actually, let me first go back. I went to my window over here, I went to pens, and then I brought up uh, face motion, right? I went ahead and recorded the face motion using my iPhone. And then I was able to transfer the stream, apply smoothing, distribute to the neck and torso. And then I was able to record it to the timeline, right? So this part right here, like distribute after once you click on distribute and you apply the smoothing, then you can write to the DAS timeline and it's able to put all the animation. And then I was able to use animate two, right click on the timeline here and take the these keys, the studio keys over here, and then save them as animation block. And that's what I was able to get. And I was able to save it, right? So when I drop down here, you can see different animation blocks. For example, I have a, there are some default ones that come with animation, like anime, uh, animate two, but this is the custom one that I was able to save. And then I have some one over here, like open closed doors. But the one that we want to use is this one, Jade face animation. So when a character is selected, for example, when the chimpanzee is selected and I mouse over this, you can see, let me actually focus in on this one. And it's rotated just a tiny bit over here and just hover over it. You can see the chimpanzee is animated and they, like the blinking. Now for this particular model, the blink is not closing all the way, but that's something that you can easily fix because that's a, a really unique character. But if I hover over it and I, I don't want to double click just yet to apply the keys, I just wanted to show you how this animation is working on this chimpanzee character with the eyes looking up, he's able to open his mouth. Like, this is awesome, right? And so I'm using this. Now let's try to use it on the this ogre character over here. Let's go ahead and uh, select the ogre and then mouse over as well. And just leave the mouse there for now. And as you can see, it's also using the same animation, the animation has been distributed to the chest uh, area, to the shoulders. And so this is a really cool way of like transferring animations that are nuanced 
into uh, DAS Studio using from Animate 2. And this is uh, the animation, facial animation was captured again using face motion, right? So that is the ogre. And now let's go to another character. This is uh, like almost like an Android character. If you go all the way around, you can see the head, but guess what? This character also, and this is uh, gonna be aura. If I mouse over on the same animation and look at that. So what I did over here on the right hand side, you can see that I reduced the resolution subdivision level to one and the resolution is still high. But this subdivision level over here makes it possible for me to play the animation back in real time. So you can actually see the animation, the character looking down, looking up. And the, before I go, I finished, after I finish going through the characters that are in this scene, I'm gonna double click on the anime in each character so the animation is applied to the timeline. And then I'm gonna turn on uh, NVIDIA IRA so we can see what it looks like. Right, so that's uh, Aura. And then we're gonna go to Grayson over here, this character, which is like a Genesis 8.1 character. And again, same thing, look at that. So the animation is captured nicely. You can see the eyebrow, like furrows, and the character is looking around now. Think about this. This once rendered with a NVIDIA iRate, it's gonna look gorgeous. Wait till you see, <laughs> like with a test, but look at that. That is very natural looking animation that you can, you, I'm applying to a, a Genesis character that is saved, right? All right, and the last but not least, let's use, uh, this is gonna be Darius 8, and same thing, mouse over over here, and look at that, the animation is playing back nicely and smoothly in the studio now. This is like a special agent, <laughs> Darius. He's just walking, waking up from, I don't know, someone maybe hit him on the head. And he's like, what happened to me, right? Okay, so let me now double click on, uh, make sure the character is selected. I'm gonna double click on this and the animation is applied to him. So now when I play back and I can even stop this, but I can slide back so this is what I wanna be able to do once I turn on NVIDIA IRA. So that's applied to him. And let's go, let's go to the chimp over here, focus on him and double click on the chimp. So, oh, wait, I need to, let's, see, let's delete that. That is, uh, let me scale this up a little bit. Yes, just make sure this animation is at the beginning. All right, and we'll make sure that we're at the very beginning of our animation. All right, and then let's go to Grayson as well, because there's no animation just yet. Double click on that. And then make sure again, we're at the beginning. Go to the Augur over here, double click on that. Let's go to Aura, double click on that. And now we have our animation. We can zoom out a tiny bit more over here, like so. Okay, so now if I want to, like Aura, for example, if we focus on her, I can bake these keys to the timeline. After the animation is transferred with the character selected, I can then right click anywhere over here and I say bake to studio keyframes. Just bake those, say yes. So now when I go to, after it's finished baking, when I go to the timeline over here, let's give it a, a chance to finish up over there. And that's how you transfer the keys from animate to the timeline. And then you're free to add any more like nuance over there, like fixing, adding things that are, are not working correctly. But uh, this is a long animation, so it might take a little bit longer. <laughs> so if it's a short animation, it will go much quicker. But as you can see, I mean, this is a really, really a cool way of getting the facial animation that you've recorded uh, using Face Motion 3D on your iPhone 10 or a higher iPhone and applying it to different characters, right? And then the anime block and then they apply to the character using Anime 2. And you can see how the animation was able to play back in real time. And once you're ready to render, of course, you can increase the subdivision level back to like two or three. 
and then be able to render fully using NVIDIA iRay. But uh, overall, uh, this is still baking <laughs> the keys. Um, this is what I wanted to share with you guys is that uh, there's a cool way that you can use Animate 2. This one right here. Uh, it's a kind of a legacy program, but it still works really well with uh, the current Daz Studio 4. Point, I think I'm using 4.21. 4.21 and it makes it possible for you to animate different characters you know like <laughs> almost every character that's in the studio that is 8 or 8.1 and even uh, Genesis 3 as well so this is very handy so when you get a chance just grab it uh, they might sometimes they are promotions and this might actually be cheaper so maybe around uh, you know Black Friday or Christmas time or even the new year even like cyber you know Monday whatever but just be on the lookout if you're interested in this kind of uh, animating your characters on a different level and uh, then you'll be able to save the animation that you've captured again using face motion 3d and uh, be able to apply to different characters in it so if you're new to my channel guys i kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe hit that sub subscription button over there and uh again hit the notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video right and you can thank you so much to all my patrons out there i truly truly appreciate your support yeah if you have a youtube channel you can also support me by super thanks yes uh buy me a coffee say thank you uh, this you can find this on any video or sh uh, short and i was honored to be able to you know be get access to this so when you give if you are no if only if you're able to guys i truly truly appreciate that thank you so much and let's go back to does so if i go back to or over here you can see the keys have been baked on the timeline and now when i play back you can see the animation on all the characters over there so which is pretty cool like now I can pick a spot like onto them to see where they have their mouth open let's see do I have one yes all right so let me collapse this now we can go to each character using the same animation and you can see their faces. Now let's switch to NVIDIA iRay. So we see the beauty of uh, <laughs> the characters and then see how the faces look. Uh, so there is the chimpanzee looking like that. Go to the ogre, like, ah. <laughs> and then let's go to the aura character. It's also smiling, isn't that cool? I go to her as well she's also smiling there and then let's go to agent darius 8 so that is pretty cool that we're able to do this and look at that you can look at so now i can go to the timeline and pick another spot where the animation has changed and uh, yeah that's there we can go back to the beginning over here and let's bring this down some let's go like he's in deep thought look at that <laughs> and it's what the others are doing she's doing the same pose doing the same pose He's doing the same pose and then the chimpanzee is <laughs> doing the same pose. And if we zoom out, it's like a, a, a group lined up shot over here. Let's collapse this and then collapse the timeline as well. And there we have our characters all looking, they're, they're animated and we're using the same animation on all of them. So guys, again, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today was just a quick, uh, again, no, not so quick, I suppose, but it was an a insight to show you how you can save the animation that you've recorded using Face Motion 3D and use it on, on multiple characters, different characters. 
uh, apply to the timeline and then I encourage you to take a look at uh, animate too and that uh, it stretches you out to be able to animate better in uh, the in da studio and giving you awesome awesome results right so let's see if I can pack find a different okay here's a timeline uh, different spots and they're all like <laughs> So guys, again, uh, I, I love animating characters and I think Dust 3D, I believe, can be a good and uh, like a platform for you to create short films. And one of the things, areas I guess that it really lacks is uh, like professional animation tools. But guess what? With a face motion 3D and uh, a mock-up suit, you can be able to create awesome, awesome animated characters and sequences for your short films and it looks nice so thank you again for joining me today please stay blessed much love to each and every one of you uh, if you are using anime 2 i would love to hear your story if you love it or not and uh yeah i want to see if you guys get a chance to animate using anime to share your results i would love to hear from you i share your comments in the comment section of this video Again, stay blessed, dare to dream big, never give up on your dream, guys. May we continue to use and, uh, these tools and harness them to bring our stories to life. I believe that uh, does 3D offers a huge, huge library that you can definitely take advantage, advantage of and then bring them to life using animation. And Animate 2 is one of those tools that I think can, be, can come handy. And as you can see, you can get awesome, awesome results. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time with another insight and tutorial. Bye for now.